And welcome to another part. This part we're going to generate the actual geometry for the uh, sides. So to start with, um, I'm going to use, of course, my grid. So this is the, again, the overall size of where like text and slogans and whatever could be. So I want to use this to then expand on it, like build a wooden frame or, or a metal frame, like do something with this, because this is like the bounds of, of that sign. I will make actually a sub network because in a later video, I will make uh, different styles. So if you remember, I asked also ChatGPT to make different styles. So I will actually quickly also show you to make some different styles. Um, so to make things structured, I'm going to use, use a sub network. And this is going to, for example, be style number uh, one. And then later on, we do two, three, four, whatever. You can build as much as you want, but we're going to start with one. So first input will, of course, be uh, our board. I might want to give this a color, as I showed in the last video. Like if we overlay things on top of each other, it's like hard to read, especially without the wireframes. So let's make that board, um, for example, here into like a, a darker color. Let's say um, we can read that better than. So here we can now actually read everything without having to worry about it. Then um, we want to, of course, need other data as well. So I'm going to add the point data here into the system as well. And I'm also going to add the font name here. So we can combine everything into this network. So it has all the data for um, to something to build. Now, the first board I'm going to make will be a, a more basic one. So we're going to almost like uh, do like a sweep uh, around the shape. So if I now would take input one and do a sweep. So let's set the sweep to um, a round tube or a square, maybe. Let's set it to here, like so. So this will be like a basic a border like so this, this will be a wooden border for that we also maybe want to add like two little legs here at the bottom so let's do that as well i will do this by blasting um, some points i only want to get the bottom points so let's here do something like this press enter and let's reverse that so we now have these two bottom points of the frame like so and in our case uh, this will always be a consistent number because we will not uh, change uh, our grid anymore so this grid will never be changed only the size will be changed but not the point order or point numbers so that's why we can simply say delete two and three now from that we can do a copy to points so copy uh, to points and we can copy a line on the points so actually making them longer so if we do uh, this setup, we can uh, add the line, but of course you want to do it in the other direction, so they go downwards, and we can also do the height now with that. So we can simply start merging things together now. So merge this one with our baseline, and back into a sweep, for example. And then we should get something like this, where we have uh, some like frame shape. So if you want to make it a bit bigger, so we have a wooden frame shape. Again, many other ways of doing this. This is just a simple approach to it. Then uh, what could be useful to do is also setting the color. Since we have now this basic uh, color for the, from the board, we can use the color that we generated with ChatGPT. Um, so with a wrangle, I can now access here the data. So my uh, second input was the data. So here we're going to say set color. And so what we will do is say add CD. So this will be the color value. We want to basically grab the point uh, value, so point attributes from input number one. Then we are looking for the CD from point zero. Now this will work, but um, one sort of like small mistake or one thing to keep in mind is uh, the color values are from zero to 255. So that means that we need to divide this um, by 255. So you can see the default colors in Houdini are just from 0 to 1. So here I need to do uh, divide by, I'm going to say set a new vector, which is going to be 255.0. And I'm going to copy paste this. 
like so and this would then work and you should see some color like it's very light this this is what i this is sort of the color that i wanted something that's um, a bit more light uh, in saturation not too heavy we can always uh, later on i will probably do that as well is doing um the color adjust note so we can easily um boost the color so we can do some post processing like boost saturation um of this so we can boost this a little so if you feel like it's too light we can always like boost it afterwards with this note but that's maybe for later i'm gonna skip that for now and focus uh, on the rest of this now this sort of wooden frame is, is sort of done the only thing that i did here as well and this is something again for the future is storing this into a group so this is going to be a group called uh, the wooden frame so later when I do a material assigning and, and UV assigning, we can uh, target specifically the material to the right UV space or material space. So we can just use that uh, over here. So this is going to be a wooden material. Um, so this is one is done. Then we need to, of course, add back in the, the board uh, frame. Um, so going to use again our first input and we can basically in theory just simply merge it by default so if we would say here uh, oh, merge uh, this like so so this will work but uh, it doesn't have any back face so we want to also do uh, a reverse of this so reverse the um, the, the polygon uh, maybe i'm gonna just branch it off like here and uh, with this reverse, maybe we want to do a peak. So a peak will offset this uh, shape a little bit. So if I do a peak, you can see we can offset the shape. And this can be like a very tiny, like 0.1, something like that. And let's merge these back together. So this will be my uh, board, like so. And let's see how well that works. Maybe 0.1 was indeed too much. Maybe it can even be way lower just so we have some uh, uh, primitive on both sides so we don't see the back facing um, in Unreal. Same as I did actually here, I want to give this a material name. So we're going to add a group and this is gonna be called uh, the board. Uh, so I know that this is gonna be specifically targeting the board shape. Uh, the then the last part will be then adding the text back in, which was number three. Input number three had the text data. We don't necessarily need to do anything special. Um, maybe I'm going to add the material here again, or say that this is a text, uh, a text property, so or a text geometry, and merge it like so. You can always see it's 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 floating, um, so you can try to match the better. But for our case, that's is fine. So this is my style number one. So here we have style number one. Like I said, in, in, in the next videos, I will make multiple styles and versions, but this is just style number one. Then uh, this board, of course, uh, needs like two sides. So we're going to make like a, the classical um, add board that has like a rotated slightly and that, that sort of like has two of these sides um, uh, onto each other. So after this, we're going to do a match uh, size node. And in here, we're going to match a certain uh, axis. So we're going to say max here and also uh, in the minus over here. So it's sort of like um, aligning here. So I can easily now sort of like mirror this um, without any problem. So we need this uh, matching, otherwise it will be difficult to like uh, make a, a mirror version basically. So to make it pretty simple, we can do transform and we can add for example a slight rotation like so then we can do another transform we can remove the rotation and we can just rotate it uh, 180 degrees and we're going to merge these two together so like this for example and now we have this uh, ad board like i mentioned so the more classical ad board um, shape i would say so we can control the amount of rotation here quickly. So as you can see, we can rotate how much this is sort of like being um, hold out. So we just want to have it to be a little bit like so. 
We can also build uh, some details here at the top. This can be easily done by adding a tube. So since we aligned everything nicely at the top, this will make it very easy to add like sort of like a hinge at the top. So if I now just build um, a tube like this and merge it back in here, you can see it's very easy to now just build that uh, sort of like hinge like you could see here. So it's now a bit more believable in structure if we rotate this, that this is like the hinge part. Here I quickly uh, made something that looks a bit more like a hinge shape. So I'm going to quickly go over it as, again, it's not the most detailed model. So I, you can either make something also in another program or whatever. You can make something a bit more detailed. This is just, as you can see, it's nothing special. So I just took a plane. Uh, then I aligned the plane with my um, sort of like add board shape. So this is uh, trying to also align on that axis. So here using the max and min as well. It's going to be the same as that node. Then we're going to use the same rotation. So in, in later um, videos, we're going to match or link those uh, values. So I set it to minus five, I set it to minus five here as well. So they have the same uh, rotation. So they just, uh, he just rotates with that shape. Then of course I uh, do a copy like we did um, with this as well. So I just reversed it 180 uh, degrees um, in this case also need to flip it so we have something like this then I also rotated it into uh, the other side of the board and then I quickly add here that tube shape that I showed before so I just basically added like this little plane where usually like uh, some bolts or screws are in to attach to the board and to finish off also make sure to for example, add a group called metal because this will be like a metal material and this will then be the final shape. But like I mentioned, you can build something that looks a bit better. This is again just a tube and a plane uh, from afar. This will be enough to like hint uh, the like the hinge uh, effect. So that part um, is done. The only thing that I of course want to do is probably do match again, match size and align this nicely in the world, uh, but maybe uh, using the min here and the y, so it sits nicely on the grid like so. So if I make something bigger or smaller, it will always sit nicely in the world. And that's it for this part. So we created a first sign or first style of the ad board. Uh, so it now comes all together and having our first sort of like previews of how things could look like.